Hello Warriors. I haven't done a vlog for a month, so I just thought I would check in with you today. How are you doing? Um, not a lot of change. Hair colour have changed. We're looking a little bit more uniformed. And I've had a couple of inches cut off. Pyjamas, you know, same, different day, isn't it? Um, but we had some friends over today for some food, which was really lovely. And um, I actually did my hair and makeup for the first time in a long time. Do you know, when you haven't done that thing for a while, it's just like, what do you do? Looking in your makeup box going, oh, what do I do with that? Um, so that was crazy, actually, putting makeup on, because I just don't do that. I'm wearing a bra. Oh, my days. How I've loved not wearing a bra. My girls didn't like being wrapped up today in a net. Didn't matter how pretty that net was. Um, they were relieved to get it off. So I kind of like lockdown, because I haven't had to wear a bra. So, how have my month been? So, this now is the second month that I'm on these little tablets, Clear Femme. Um, as I said to you in my other previous vlog, I actually found these myself um, because the products I was taking discontinued, like everything else on the market. So, um, I did some research and I found these little things myself. And then my amazing husband buys me these every month. Menopause Plus, which are... Um, just table tablets really so i take these and i take that now um this is uh, today to now will be my third day um in month two my month have been really up and down actually with real highs um which is really nice and some lows um but the highs have been better than the lows and i haven't been feeling as poorly so i've had a few migraines um, all around the time of what I would say where my period is, because I've had a lot more flushes, um, around that time. Um, so I've had migraines, I kind of had about maybe eight to nine days. Um, I had a couple of times in between where I could feel myself going, took myself out to the office, kind of got some fresh air and it kind of, it went, so I kind of know what to do with myself. So that's about on par with the other tablets that I had, um, Anxiety has been, it's really good at the moment. Um, oh God, I got a touch of wood. Touch of wood. Um, it's been really good for about the last week, but I've been busy. I keep saying that when I stop, things are really not good for me. I might get in my own head. Um, but I've got loads of garden work going on. I'm project managing it um, on top of work. So that's a really good thing for me because being busy just keeps my head going and I don't give me a chance to kind of think. So um, that's been really good. My anxiety has been probably the best it's been for a while. Um, I have had some really low bouts where um, I've been really snappy and I was really low. Um, but if I'm honest... If I had to give this last month on the first month of these tablets a score out of 10, I'd probably give it a 6, 6.5, which is good, because the one before that would have probably got a 2 when I stopped in three weeks. So that's progress, and it's new. So um, it's a bit stronger than what I was taking, it's 2 milligrams. Um, and it's new to my system, because the other tablets that I was taking um, were... Uh, 16 days, I believe, oestrogen and 12 progesterogen, something like, like that anyway, whereas these are combined, so it's two in one. So I'm actually taking two tablets in the one, so I think that's a bit of a change for my body as well. But so far, so good. So I'm just going to say I'm keeping that crossed. Um, compared to where I was before I started taking these, I'm a million miles away. Um. What I will say is, is I still get just terrible anxiety if I drink. So if I have a really big drink now, um, where I'm a bit drunk, and I don't need to be, you know, as I would say, white girl wasted. Um, I don't need to be, you know, super drunk, but just a bit drunk. Um, I get terrible anxiety uh, the, the day after, probably two days after that. And a um, perfect example was last Saturday, I got a group of golden girls and I love them all. And we had to catch up and I had a lovely time. Um, uh, we hadn't seen each other for a long time with lockdown. Um, and it was just lovely, actually, just to catch up and, you know, just be girls and be silly and just gossip. And I had such a lovely, lovely, lovely time. And uh, I wasn't really drunk drunk you know i came home i drank a load of water um 
my amazing husband <laughs> does kind of worry that I will sleep in my contacts. So he leaves me notes. Don't forget to take tablets with tablets. And he leaves me post-it notes on uh, my mirror saying, don't forget to take contacts out. Um, but I was so on form. I didn't have that much to drink that I did all of that without his notes. They were just like a little cute added bonus. Um, but I woke up on Sunday and I can't tell you, I had two days where I just was um, really anxious and... Yeah, I get anxiety after a drink, and I never used to do that before, so it's just weird. So I'm very mindful now, in a way that I wasn't before of not drinking too much. Um, I had a lovely time tonight, and I was, you know, I had about four or five beers, but um, my husband cooked a three-course dinner, so I had quite a bit of food. Um, and as you can tell, this, you know, you can tell five beers, and that was from, I don't know, maybe seven o'clock um until 2 a.m so it's over a long span and then i was drinking tea because i'm old um but yeah i um right to train today and i think tomorrow i will be fine because i had a lot of food which absorbed the alcohol but yeah anything more than a little bit tipsy it's just not good for me anymore so um i'm just a bit mindful of that i think this is why the menopause does to you actually this is why you change and people have said to me i've changed and i know i have i've changed as in a, in I don't have the same patience that I used to. I I can't humour people in the way that I used to. You know, before I would be... Um, I can't even say more sympathetic, because it's not that I'm sympathetic. But things that I think are silly, I kind of say that are silly, whereas I might have given them a bit more time before. I um, So my my uh, my fuse is a little bit shorter. Um, I get angry mind down around the time of period-ish, um, like this just major anger which comes from nowhere, <laughs> so um, everyone kind of avoids me for maybe 48 hours, but um, yeah, it's just not very pretty, um, but you just change, I think you change you to adapt, I think you have to, to function, because um, I think we just got to function, we continue and function and kind of get what help we need along the way, and as I keep saying, I'm not telling anyone to take HRT, this is just my journey, I'm just explaining to you what's going on with me and how I'm feeling, um, and what works for me, and I, you know, my symptoms were so poorly, this was, um, the only option, if I'm honest, for me, because I did try everything else before this, um, so yeah, it's been a roller coaster month, really, um, highs better than low, so that's a bonus, um, achy joints, yeah, I've had the achy joints quite a bit, um, that's the size again, all the sacks, but hey ho, happens to the best of us, um, but overall, it's been quite a good month, so, fingers crossed, Warriors, the next month will be good. I'll keep you posted, because if anyone's looking for a change of tablet, um, you know, like I said, these uh, Clio Femme seem to be doing uh, the trick for me at the moment. Um, and I did quite a bit of research before I started taking them. Um, I hope you're all well. I hope you're all healthy. I hope you're all looking to return, you know, forward to return back to work unless some of you have done so already because I think this is no good for anyone's mental health. I think being home for these long pockets of time is soul destroying, actually. I think it's like Groundhog Day. I was saying to somebody the other day, it's July. Now, I am going to close my office as I normally do, but it blew my mind that it's almost August because normally we would be looking at a holiday in August, whereas every day is the same. My husband went back to work. He's a head teacher, as I said, for three weeks. Um through this whole time his school was open uh, to care for the key workers' um, children. But, I mean, he wasn't actually physically in work apart from three weeks. It's just been really weird, actually. And, like, Groundhog Day, and I think it's tough. I think it's, you know, we, we live in quite a fair-sized house so we can get out to the way of each other, and I think that we're very fortunate. So I think that um, we've been quite lucky, but I understand how it's really tough for people, I think, living on each other's, you know, into each other's toes all the time. Um, you know, if you're not going out to work, you've got nothing to discuss. So I think all that changes. So I hope um, if you're not back in work, uh, you will be soon and we'll get some normality because I think that's what we need. I think when we're suffering this way, we just need structure and normality. So I think uh, I'm praying we get that. Um, I'm sending you love and light and be strong. We'll get through this together. Take care.